Oh, Josh, I lost my watch. The one we went at State. Oh, yeah, the gold one? Yeah, yeah, that one. Wait, this is a Rube Goldberg project right here? Yeah. Let's get here. Let me take you through it. So we'll start our project by initiating the catapult. We'll bring it down, which will release the ping pong ball, causing a chain reaction to knock the paddle over, which will force the birdie through the two cardboard boxes, which will, once this one falls, it'll hit the, the marble at the top of the board, which will fall down our creative path, going into the marbles, the marble zone, which will fall onto the dominoes, which will chain and knock over the scooter. Once the scooter falls down the ramp, it'll hit this ball, the momentum from that ball, not this ball down is connected from the string here and to the toilet paper. Once the, bo the ball falls down, the toilet paper will rip and the string that's connected to this soccer ball from underneath the step up box will spring this ball and swing it over here, knock over this thing that's holding up this first ball in the pendulum ball chain. And once this last ball is ricochets and knocked down the water bottle, and the preparatory project will be complete when the water fills up in this cup. Physics describes all things in motion. Therefore, it can be used to describe the motion in our Rube Goldberg machine. For instance, Newton's first law describes the law of inertia, that things in rest stay in rest, and that things in motion stay in motion unless acted on by an outside force. For example, in our Rube Goldberg machine, we have our scooter. Our scooter is going to remain at rest unless it's acted on by another force which in this case is the dominoes and once the dominoes set it in motion the scooter is going to stay in motion unless stopped by something else and in this case it's going to be friction or when it hits the ball but law of inertia is very applicable to our Rube Goldberg machine Newton's second law is also applicable to our Rube Goldberg machine if I bring you over to our catapult, Newton's second law describes force, that all objects in motion have a force, and that force is defined by F equals MA. So in this instance, when the ping pong ball is launched by the catapult, it has immediate mass and it has acceleration given to it by the catapult. Therefore, it enacts a force on the paddle and that's what makes the paddle move. All things in motion have force. Newton's third law is also applicable to our Rube Goldberg machine. Newton's third law describes that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For, for instance, in the dominoes, when each domino hits each other, the domino that is being put in motion exacts an equal and opposite force back on to the domino, as you can see. Nate, would you like to take it away? Oh, yes, let me follow up behind you, Josh. So, um, through our project, energy is conserved in all times, and we know that because of the law of conservation of energy, which states energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Therefore, as we fire off the kettlebell that begins our project, <clears throat> the same energy that we used to start it is the same energy that will be used to end it. It will not be created or lost at any point. And one example is when the truck falls down from the ramp, the truck is a currently has gravitational potential energy, and as it moves down the ramp, it loses its gravitational potential energy, which is converted to kinetic energy, which is the same concept can be applied to momentum. With the pendulum ball set, the momentum that the ball drops and knocks the other kettle balls is conserved, and that same momentum is applied back and is um, 
completes the cycle of events. So as you can see, physics applies to all things in motion, especially our Rube Goldberg machine. Thank you.